I want to show you the new method that I'm using in order to be able to do dimensions in sections and elevations. Not that this is new for everyone maybe, but it's new to me or my preferred way of now doing this. Here we see some dimensions, elevational dimensions, which relate to AHD, Australian height data. We see that there's a line, a dimension, in this case an elevation dimension, and then there's a description of what it is. So the number, which is automated, and then there's text, but I'm not doing this text as text anymore, but instead as part of the dimension. So if we select the actual dimension, go into the settings, we see there's the auto text, and then there's extra text written after that. The way this works is it's defined by the line. So if I move the line up, everything moves with it. Uh, it's not therefore snapped to the actual roof ridge, it's snapped to the line. Those are options, right? So I've worked both ways. In this case, this is what I'm thinking is gonna be better for this process. This means I can also go mirror copy, flip to the other side, move these around, and then just like this one, I can grab this, drag it down, snap it to that point, we see that it's still called Roof Ridge. Now it should, of course, be called Roof Eve. Let's capitalize that. But otherwise, it's very simple and consistent. We can drag this up. This is our balustrade. And of course I can delete any others that I don't need. But it may also be that the others are wrong and in the wrong place. So because this is a, a deck balcony, this can of course come up to the same height as the floor. And that also helps to bring or highlight problems where maybe the balustrade's not at the right height either. Now I can also add dimensions to this if necessary. I can add a linear dimension if that's gonna be helpful to understand. But in this case, it's already high enough. So this only needs to be a meter high. Now if it's acting as a pool fence, that's a good reason to make it 1200. Added an enter at the back. Yeah, I won't bother saying that for now. Just leave that at 1200 high. And of course, once this has been done for the section, these can also be copied and pasted on elevation. So to start with, it makes the most sense to paste this on the west elevation because it's in exactly the same situation. And then I might want to adjust this based on, say, the window. I only need to show things that are relevant. So I'll just drag the one that's already called window sill and I'll just drag the one that's already called window head. I can similarly drag this and so on. And while it's not locked to the door or window, or the roof or even, so it won't adjust automatically, it will be very apparent if it changes and moves. And that's gonna make the process of working this out far simpler. Thank you for liking this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell to hear about new tutorials.